Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Samster, uh, yeah, it is on entertainment. Um, so, guys are probably all wondering, uh, what's the next step for us? What are the next couple movies, if any, that we're going to come out with? Uh, cause lately, Eight Days on Entertainment's been mostly busy with the music stuff. I mean, we haven't been able to upload Stranded, the full movie. Um, cause of YouTube, we had to chop it up into about eight parts. And then we also threw in the, uh, behind the scenes and the extra footage. Which were originally intended only for a DVD release, but, you know... Uh, we're not in high school no more, so <laughs> there's no one really gonna buy the movie. Um, which is okay, I mean, it's whatever. Uh, the movie wasn't the greatest, like I said, because we didn't really, uh, well, I didn't really sit down and write it or anything. Most of it was on the spot, um, but that was also a very good thing because, you know, if you, if you watch a lot of Joey's scenes, um, they're really funny, and he did a lot of, all his stuff, all my stuff mostly was on the spot. We just went along with it. It was pretty much... If we were both really stuck on an island, what would it be like? Um, I mean, there would be extra things we would probably do. I mean, like like my character, um, I would have done a little more than just walk around and being pissed. Um, but that was me back then. So I guess you, could, you know, for those of you who followed me in wrestling, uh, I guess that's what it's like if Nero Extreme gets stranded on an island with JC. But if it was now Joey Beans and Samster. I don't know. I, was, I, I do want to remake the movie. Um, I'm hoping I get a job sometime soon so I can get my life back together, get my car back, get all, uh, pay off probation, all that crap. Um, you know, if everything turns out good, maybe me and Joy Beans and a few other people who want to get involved with this, uh, I'd like to look for a new uh, filming location. Um, not really just pick one out of the blue, like actually go to a beach besides the place we used. Um, and just look at different locations as for, you know, what, that was strange. You notice that like they were from blue and then it just, the color came in. Uh, <laughs> weird shit. Um, put this light on. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, w I would like to look at a couple uh different beaches and everything. Uh, one more that looks like we're on an island. Uh, it's got to have, you know, good size to it. Um, um, if, if and when I decide to remake it, um, I'm actually going to write more of the story. The beginning plot scene and all that will be included. I mean, originally, like I said, it was supposed to be uh, Donnie and Shaggy on some kind of ship or cruise or whatever and you know I'm trying to go after this girl I like and then all of a sudden this new guy shows up you know he basically I guess they met on the boat like I never really completely developed the story but they you know they met on the boat she likes him and she kind of forgets about me type shit and I get pissed and the new guy gets pissed and he kind of like you know shoves me off the boat like oh you know fuck you you nothing probably does that when she's not around because obviously you know girl might bug out and that would they'll mess him up so he would probably do that later on when she's not around that way to get me out of there so I'm not a threat to him trying to take the girl back or anything um, and then because you know Donnie's like my best friend in the movie um, he either finds out or something and then he gets involved and he gets tossed over too um, it's never, you know, now that I think about it, the, the real ending was never developed. That that scene where I wake up and it's a little dream, that was the last minute. Uh, I, we couldn't really come up with anything how to get off the island because, you know, we were limited to, you know, like, like, uh, we were thinking maybe we could do it like Castaway where we make some kind of crappy little boat type thing. We attempt to sail off, but I mean, in reality, we can't really do that. I mean, we could have, but I mean, we didn't know how to put the boat together and, you know, make it believable. Um, the ending might be somewhere where I, where I wake up, it's more, it, it's a dream, but it'll be more in death, in death, whatever. Um, 
where, you know, I'll wake up, oh my god, it's a dream, instead of, you know, I'll talk a lot louder, um, and probably get up and, it will probably be funnier if I was in, like, pajamas, and then I go to get dressed, and I should wear the same clothes I'm wearing in the movie, um, that would be pretty cool, and then me and, you know, Joey's character meet up, and he, and he has a dream too, and it's sort of, like, we both had the dream, whatever, um, and basically we find out maybe, these are just ideas put out there for the ending, that maybe we find out that we missed out on the cruise or whatever the hell, that where we're supposed to get thrown off, and then we kind of realize maybe if we went on the cruise that would have happened for real, and uh, the new guy, I forget his name, and the girl come back, and you know, maybe... I deck the guy in the face or something, and I get the girl back. I don't know. I, I didn't really think about it. Um, now remember that this movie was made in 2004. So in case anybody that knows me uh, is watching, this wasn't the, the storyline with the girl and the guy wasn't really set up to, you know, it wasn't based on anything real life. I mean, at the time I was trying to go after this one girl, but there wasn't real. It wasn't really a guy in the way, you know, like that. Remember, this is 2004, um, in case anybody's watching or whatever, and they're thinking of, you know, whatever, it, it has nothing to do with that. Um, and it's kind of funny because something sort of like that happened later on, except, you know, I didn't get thrown off a boat, but, uh, you know, I have had situations later on where, um, Maybe I like a girl or whatever, and then a guy comes out of nowhere, takes her, and that's that. I mean, it happens, you know, I guess when you don't, um, we don't keep up with them, and, you know, I guess you don't keep seeing them or whatever, and they, I guess they lose interest, you lose interest, and then a new guy shows up. Yeah. It's happened to me. It didn't happen at the time during the movie, but it's funny, it happened afterwards, and if you remember... Towards the end of Stranded, uh, when me and uh, Donnie fight, um, I forget, he said something like, you know, he knew or he liked her or, or got drunk with her, whatever. That kind of happened too. Funny as hell. I, I mean, not funny, as, it's just funny that it actually happened because after that, it was like, it was like in that movie, that part foreshadowed what would really happen in me and his actual real life. Um, he hooked me up with a girl, and then he started to like her, and then, you know, me and him had issues for a while over her. Um, you know, now we're cool about it. I mean, she went off in her own way, whatever, you know, it's, that's what happens. It's, you know, whatever. Um, but I would like to remake the movie. Um, there would be a lot of stuff from the original, even though we're going to write out the remake. There would be a lot of stuff maybe from, uh... Joey's character where he would do a lot of the same stuff or say a lot of the same stuff or maybe would make it funnier you know kind of pay respects to the original but I was thinking the way to make it better would be instead of it being one funny guy and one real serious guy it would be a bunch you know like uh, two funny guys two you know I wouldn't want to say two idiots but two guys that are a little kooky in the head whatever um Maybe, maybe not. Um, if you notice afterwards, uh, you know, when Joey went to go make his next movie, um, Hometown Hero, uh, my character was complete opposite of the guy from Stranded, uh, Donnie. Said I was this hyper crazy guy who, um, you know, got high off of the, the whippets, the whipped cream shit. Funny thing is, in that movie, I never really did a whippet. I said I just, you know, guzzled down whipped cream. Um, but that was the hint I was trying to throw out there because I don't think around then I really did that yet. Um, but, yeah, I was complete opposite, hyper, and like, I don't know, a little more loony and shit. But, yeah, we were also supposed to make a sequel to Hometown Hero. There was a lot of stuff we were going to do with that. It was supposed to be a spinoff with the Egads character with his own thing. Um, me, and, me and Rocket, aka Eric, we were going we to make a, a parody of it called Hotel Hero. 
Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things we were going to do with that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one strictly about Stranded. Um, if you guys have any ideas as to where we should go, you know, if you guys live in the area in Nassau County, you know, now we have cars, we're not limited to certain spots where we gotta walk, we could actually drive there. I mean, I gotta wait to get my car back, at least. I have a license, I could drive. Um, we're not really limited to any anywhere, really. I mean, we could go all over Long Island and look at spots. Uh, the best place to be here is a beach that actually looks like an island. And there's no buoys or, you know, stuff around that makes it where you know it's a beach. Uh, we tried to hide that in the movie, but of course there were a lot of shots where it was just almost impossible. You could hear kids running around and stuff. Um, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Savings Bond was a lot better. Um, I'm going to make another video where I talk about Savings Bond, because that's another big thing that I want to do next year. I don't know when. Just gotta wait for the time to be right, pretty much. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know on some ideas, Joe, if you're watching, any of my friends watching. Uh, any random person who's watching or happen to see the movie, uh, just leave me comments, ideas. What you liked about the Stranded movie, what you didn't like, what you liked to see in the remake, stuff like that. Just uh, throw out some ideas. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.